Good morning, everyone. Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, and welcome to our service of worship. Today is a very special Sunday in the life of the church. It's Children's Sabbath. And ordinarily, um, throughout the year, we have two services where the preachers don't preach. One would be the patriotic service that takes place on the Sunday before the 4th of July. The other is Youth Sunday, where our seniors in high school uh, give a testimony about how God is working in their lives. Um, Here on Children's Sabbath, normally we've had the kids participate, but also one of the preachers continues to preach, but we're going to change that today. Today, we're going to have the kids teach and preach to us. And so I believe it was Jesus who said, unless you have the faith of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And so we're going to see today what it means to have that childlike faith as the kids um, teach us what it means to to be um, children of God. So anyway, I think it's going to be a really great service. I've already seen it twice. I I do think it's a really cool service. Um, so uh, anyway, so I, I hope that I uh, hope that y'all uh, get something out of it as well. I do want to uh, take a minute while I'm up here to tell you about something that's going on in the life of the United Methodist Church around the world. Um, we're having general conference this week in Charlotte, and that only takes place every four years. And because of COVID, we did not have it in 2020. So it's been eight years since we've had a full general conference. Um, So it's a really important time in the life of United Methodism, so I hope that you will pray for all of the delegates who will be voting. There are 862 of them from all over the world that are coming to Charlotte, and I'm actually an alternate delegate, which means that if one of the delegates from our conference were to get tired or sick or have an emergency call, um, then they will point to me on the bench and I'll run in. And, um, and I'll get to, get to vote. So, uh, so anyway, so I'll be there throughout the week and um, looking forward to um, my opportunity to be able to participate um, in, throughout this entire conference. So yeah, pray for me, pray for the conference, and um, I'll certainly let you know uh, how things turn out in the next couple of weeks. And so with all of that being said, I want to turn things over to my good friend Dagny Gilbert, who is going to lead us in worship today. Thank you all. Good morning. My name is Dagny Gilbert. I'm 11 years old, a fifth grade at Ogden Elementary, and a member of the Faithful Fifth Bible Study. I hope you leaders get sleep Thursday because you're not getting sleep Friday night. Because God's girls lock in and it's Friday, April 26th from 7 a.m. to Saturday at 8 a.m. in the fellowship hall. Save the date for a pig picking. At first I thought we were picking pigs, but after reading this I was wrong, which never happens. On Sunday, April 28th from 4.30 to 6.30 6.30 at the Healy property, bring the whole family, a side dish to share, and chairs or blankets. Tideline Machine Band will be playing bluegrass. I wish we were picking pigs. I'd pick the pink one. <laughs> Raise your hand if you hate pollution. Don't be scared. Raise your hand. Take part in our shred event. Bretzel UMC is sponsoring a free shred event and on Wednesday, May 1st from 9 to 11 a.m. at church. You can dispose of documents in a safe and environment-friendly way. Calling members of the 30s to 50 Club, you're invited to join our Stirred Not Shaken Adult Social on Thursday, May 2nd from 6.15 to 8.15 at Axes and Allies. Bring an appetizer share and don't forget to book those centers. RSVP information can be found in your bulletin insert. With all those good appetizers, I wish I could be there. Lastly, empty nesters and friends, join us for a single day brunch on Sunday, May 5th at 12.30 at Flying Machine Oyster Bar at the landing at Wrightsville Beach. It's located at the other end of the Sir shop next door. RSVP Donna Pickney. Thank you for being here and your attention. Now sit back, relax, and witness God through children.
Good morning. I am Jack Sullivan, and I am in the fifth grade. We are so happy to see you all here in worship today. Now that we all heard the tune of hymn of promise for our children's choir, let's stand together and sing all three verses. The, wo the words are printed in your bulletin insert. You may be seated. Good morning. My name is Parker, and I'm in the first grade. We're, we are very excited to teach you all about the fruits of the Spirit as we worship together on this beautiful Sabbath day. The children of joy here at Wrightsville UMC have spent a lot of time throughout this school year learning about these nine th fruits. They are qualities that make us more like Jesus and help us to reflect his love to others. I'd now like to introduce you to our Fruit of the Spirit cast as they teach us a little bit more about each, about each of the fruits. Love. Do everything in love. Joy. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. Peace. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Matthew 5. Patience. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, Romans 12, 12. Kindness. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ God forgave you, Ephesians 4, 32. Goodness. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Faithfulness. For we live by faith, not by sight. Gentleness. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stores up anger. And self control. Like a city whose walls are broken through is a person who lacks self control. 
Proverbs 25 through 18. Good morning. Please stand. Please join me in the saying of the children's affirmation of faith found in your bulletin. We believe in God who loves us and wants us to love each other. This is our God. We believe in Jesus who cared about children and held them in his arms. He wanted a world where everyone could live in peace. This is Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit who keeps working with us until everything is right. This is the Holy Spirit. We can be the church which reminds people of God because we love each other. This we believe. Amen. Hello, my name is Vivian, and I am in the third grade. I am a member of the Wrightsville UMC Children's Choir. Today, we will be sharing with you a song that you've probably heard and even sung a thousand times. But you may not know what it is or why we sing it. This song is called Gloria Potri, which means glory be to the Father. We sing Gloria Potri as a so- uh, sorry, as a si- song of praise to God and a reminder that our ultimate purpose as Christians is to glorify God and enjoy his blessings forever. We hope that you will take this opportunity to hear these words as the children's choir sings this familiar song and reflects on the love we all share for our awesome God. enjoying worship so far. Please stand and greet those around you with the peace of Christ. Please be seated. I will be reading Psalm 92, verses 12 through 15 this morning. The the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will stay bare fruit in, in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, The Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. The word of God for the people of God. Please bow your heads and join me in the morning prayer. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day and for our beautiful church family. Thank you for giving us comfortable homes, plenty of good food to eat, and water to drink. We pray that you help us take good care of the earth, which you have given us. We also pray for the leaders of our community community and world, 
that they will make decisions that honor and take care of your gifts to us. We pray for those on our prayer list and for those we lift up now in our hearts. These things we ask in the name of your Son who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. It is now time for our ushers to come forward to collect our offering. But before they do so, we want to let you know that we are using noisy buckets today to collect the offering. These buckets were a part of Oleander UMC's worship services. They would use them occasionally for special services such as today. We are grateful to Oleander for these new traditions. We encourage you to give from the heart with joy and gratitude. May we be faithful stewards of all God has blessed us with. Ushers, please come forward to collect the offering. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mamas and the papas in his hand. He's got the mamas and the papas in his hand. He's got the mamas and the papas. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the little bitty babies. In his hand, he's got the little bitty babies. In his hand, he's got the little bitty babies. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the preacher and the deacon. In his hands, he's got the preacher and the deacon. In his hands, he's got the preacher and the deacon. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody. In his hands, he's got everybody. In his hands, he's got everybody. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. children's sermon. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name's... My name's... My name's... Claire. And my name is Jenny. Today we're talking about the fruit of the spirit. Do you, any of you guys have any favorite fa- fruits? Strawberries. Ooh. Fruit of the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Orange. Ooh. Oranges. Peaches. Peaches. <laughs> Blueberries. I like the fruit. The fruit of the spirit. Watermelon. Watermelon. Bananas. Fruit of the spirit. Fruit of the spirit. 
Apple. Apples. Fruit of the Spirit. Well, my favorite fruit is the fruit of the Spirit, too. Today we will be listening to a poem about the fruit of the Spirit. So everybody stand up and do what we do. Love, joy, peace. Love, joy, peace. Our words to show we care. Our words to show we care. So give a hug. So give a hug. Laugh out loud. <laughs> and say a quiet prayer. Patience, kindness, and generosity remind us what to do. Remind us what to do. So wait for our turn. So wait for our turn. Act with love. Act with love. And share with others too. And share with others too. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Are three big words to know. Are three big words to know. So trust our great God. So trust our great God. Use kind words. Use kind words. And choose right as we grow. Choose right as we grow. We are going to close Jordan's sermon with a repeat after me prayer. Dear God, dear God, thank you, thank you for the joy we feel, for the joy we feel when we remember, when we remember that Jesus is alive, that Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. Now go and have a great week. Good morning. I am Abe Lackey, and I am in the fourth grade. Today I will be reading the scripture lesson, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. We have wondered, we have a wonderful group of fifth graders this year, and they have been rehearsing a skit for you today. Now, I now invite our fifth grade, our faithful fifth cast to come forward for the Fruit of the Spirit performance. We hope you will enjoy the play. Welcome to our performance about the fruit of the spirit. Today we are going to share with you some of the nine fruits of the spirit. And we're going to start with... Oh, that's great because I'm hungry. What kind of fruit do you have today? Hey, do you have coconuts? I just love coconuts. Or how about watermelon? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. We're talking about fruit of the spirit, not the fruit you eat. What? I'm confused, but you said fruit. Listen, if you'll just have a seat and let us share, we'll tell you all about it. Because the fruit of the spirit isn't a coconut or watermelon, it's the fruit that grows inside of you. Hey, I've swallowed watermelon seeds before, so that mean it'll grow on me? If you will just have a seat, please, and listen, I think you will understand. When we become Christians, God plants a seed in us to help us live lives that please him and show his love to those who don't know God. For example, love. It's easy to love our family members or our friends, but how hard is it to love someone who isn't, well, the most lovable? Hey, there's that kid from last week. She's so mean. Let's go somewhere else before she sees us. Wait, I've got an idea. Let's try something different. Like what? Well, let's ask her to play ball with us. Are you kidding me? Do you remember last week? She took our ball and bounced off our heads. If you're, in the, if you're going to do that, you might as well just give her the ball. She's going to take it anyway. Have you ever heard of the saying, killing them with kindness? My mom says it means she squashed out anger and meanness with showing acts of kindness. Let's try it. What do you two want? Didn't you get enough last week? Hey, forget about that. Do you want to play ball with us? Who, me? Yeah, let's get a game started. OK. We 
We all know it doesn't always work out that way. But how will we ever know or how will others ever see God working in us unless we try? Peace is another fruit of the Spirit. It's important we find peace from God in our situations in life and also make and keep peace with each other. No, she keeps changing the rules while you're playing. No, I don't. You're not following the rules. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you two the best of friends? Yes. yes. Don't you two like playing together? Well, well yes. yes. It doesn't sound like it when you're both yelling at each other. It's okay to disagree about things, but sometimes you can agree to disagree. Well, let's agree she's cheating. No, no, no. Let's agree you're not following the rules. Well, if you can't agree to settle this, how about move on and play something else? Like what? Yeah, like what? How about something without rules? Like playing on the jungle gym? Okay, last one to the jungle gym is a rotten egg. No, first one to the jungle gym is. Can't blame someone for trying. <laughs> As you can see, there are nine fruits of the Spirit, and each one of those fruits take time and effort to grow inside of us. But when people see someone with good fruit like that, they know that person has a close walk with God. You may also be planting the seed in others so that they can grow their relationship with him. Now I'm starting to get it, but I'll be honest, it's still making me hungry. Well, now see, as Christians, we should be hungry for growing the fruit of the Spirit. Let's see what other fruits we can grow. Are you okay? I scraped my knee. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. It hurts pretty bad. Well, let's get you up into the office where they can clean it up and bandage it. Thanks. By the way, my name is Bella. My name is Maddie. It's no problem at all. We don't need to know the person to show kindness. Okay, so now I know how to grow the fruit of the Spirit inside of me. It starts by showing others with my words and actions. Speaking of actions, I like how this message is making me feel. How about one more song, and then we can go and get something to eat. S sounds like a plan, but let's use some special moves to remind us of the spiritual fruit we need to grow. We would now like to invite any children of joy who have learned our Fruit of the Spirit song with Miss Courtney in Sunday School or Joyful for Jesus up to the front to sing. Thank you for worshiping with us today. We hope you have enjoyed the service. Please stand and join us in our closing hymn, Halle, Halle, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, found in your, your bulletin insert.
Hey, wasn't that amazing? Wasn't that great? Yeah, let's give our kids a big hand. Thank you so much, children of joy, for leading us in worship and teaching us about the fruit of the Spirit. And now, um, I believe Parker is coming up to uh, give us a, uh, a benediction. So thank you, Parker, and thank you to all of our kids. As we go into this week, we hope you feel renewed and inspired to embody these fruits of the Spirit in your daily life. Please repeat after us as we say eat and sign each fruit. Do everything oh. in your mouth. Ready? Together. Love. 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 Joy. Joy. Patience. Self-control. Self-control. 